Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So we were driving outside of Safford and we found this little hidden gem. Um, looks like it needs a little help at this point in time. But this is just outside of Fort Thomas um, in a town that used to be called Ashurst. Um, Ashurst is just about gone. Uh, there's really not much left in Ashurst now. But according to the Eastern Arizona Courier, um, at half past noon on Sunday, January 5th of 2020, uh, flames were engulfing the former Redland School Building on Highway 70. And someone saw some smoke and called the Graham County Sheriff's Office, and um, they called the property owner and the farmer who must farm the fields surrounding that showed up and, and saw that there was a Nissan Maxima inside of the building and it was burning. <clears throat> the curious thing about it was that the Nissan Maxima did not belong there. And so the structure was pretty much a total loss. Um, it used to be a school, and before that it was an LDS church. And unfortunately, as I said, it was a total loss, and they found out that the Nissan Maxima had been stolen from um, a couple in Safford. Uh, the police actually found their door open, but the, the couple was safe. They were not aware that anyone had broken into their home, and that's probably where they got the keys for the Maxima and, and stole the Maxima. Um, it looks like the case is still open. They have not solved the mystery at this point from what we have found and um, it was definitely arson, uh, but it's just a shame. Uh, there were there's a, a lot going on here on this property. Um, there is this empty train car, and uh, really really neat inside. Um, looking inside of the car, uh, it is close to the railroad tracks. Uh, pretty much everything in Arizona is close to a railroad track. Uh, especially anymore, any of the abandoned places, there's always a rail road track and trains going by. So good to see that the train service is still still going strong. Um, we just love uh, going out to these deserted places and seeing all of the uh, the green and the brown against the beautiful blue skies. It's just so pretty. It was just such a, a gorgeous day um, when we found this so it was a really good day to get out and explore and so going up here you could see there's there's more um, that's abandoned and as I mentioned earlier I mean Ashurst did used to be a town um, and it was named I believe after a senator Senator Ashurst who uh, started a, a a school that was a portion of Northern Arizona University. He actually lived in Flagstaff. Um, and I don't believe he ever lived from when I, when I was doing the research, I don't believe he ever lived in Ashurst, but they must have liked him a lot. So he must have done what the people thought was a really good job. So they named the town after him. So you can see there's a lot of farming equipment, very old farming equipment. And as I said, there were there are a lot of farming fields. Um, this is off of the 70 after you leave Safford and then you go through Pima and it's before Geronimo. So if you're interested in seeing it, there's there are no no trespassing signs, no private property signs or anything like that around. Um, and it's an easy pull in. Um, you don't have to go down a, a long uh, gravel or a long dirt road like the one that you're seeing here uh, we were actually able to just park down onto the property without any issues um, there is a lot of highway noise hence the voice over uh, we wanted to make sure that you were able to hear the story clearly uh, because this is a very interesting historical piece of, of land 
And as you go out of here, you can see Grant is is finding more goodies. There's just so much everywhere. Um, it's it's kind of like a you know a, a toy store for for people like us. Um, as you could see in the distance, oh, those clouds are just absolutely beautiful. So I said it was a absolutely beautiful day. If you want to go see this property, <clears throat> when you uh, if you're going out of Safford and heading uh, towards the um, San Carlos uh, Reservation, there is um, also a tiny little town called Pima. Um, there was a, a house there that we really, really wanted to look at. Uh, we didn't see any no trespassing signs, but the police station was right across the street, and there was a uh, <clears throat> excuse me cruiser that was eyeballing us, and we just decided not to take any chances, even though it wasn't posted. But um, you know, if anybody has the courage and wants to uh, wants to give that a shot. Um, it, it uh it's right across from the police station so i mean it's not like you know anybody's going to be able to go in and like you know loot the property or anything but um it's completely wide open the doors are wide open so just throwing that out there to anybody who has more courage than us um <clears throat> if you want to see that so back to this property now we're uh heading back after seeing all of this um all of this old historical farming equipment um, as you saw there were water tanks it looked like there was a, uh, a petro tank of some sort out there um, i'm assuming it's probably propane as uh, so that's how most of us out here in the desert heat things is through propane um, so that's a it's a very popular heating source for all of us and as you see um, heading back towards the burned down building in just a minute so hang on with us here because there is going to be a treat at the end well, of this something that equipment. most of us don't in arizona don't get to see very often um so there is a, a treat we put an easter egg in this for all of you so if you've held on this long thank you so much please please uh subscribe and like um we would really really appreciate the support because we want to continue to do more things like this we want to continue to find more abandoned properties that we can show all of our viewers we're very grateful for all of you you can see this um, empty silo here another empty water tank i think those are actually both water tanks and so at that time you know all of that water had to support um, not only the school but any other buildings that were standing at the time along with the farmer's property that was such a pretty place it was it was so nice out there i could see why so many people farmstead out in the southwest um it's just absolutely beautiful so in a moment you're going to see um grant here he's showing an up close of the water tank the propane tank um the front of the school you can walk around the school i would just advise to be careful um you know because it is considered toxic uh, the chemicals that they use to put fires out and we don't know what other chemicals might have been inside of the building once again, uh, this time the other side of the train car, box car. <laughs> and then in a minute, Grant is going to take us a different direction. Oh, just look at how beautiful. I don't know about all of you, but I think rusted old metal is just so beautiful. Um, you know feel free to comment below and 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 just tell us why you like 
um, abandoned places. Um, you're obviously watching us. You're watching this because it's abandoned. Um, you know, tell us what you like about it, what you'd like to hear from us. Um, you know, what too. types of abandoned things you like. Do you like things like this? Would you just prefer us to stick with houses and old moldy refrigerators? Um, and in a moment, it looks like he is going to be turning the other direction. And you should see the Easter egg very soon. And you may be wondering about that Easter egg now. But more so, you may be wondering, how did they get that much water? Um, but there's an answer for that. You're going to see it in just a moment at the very end. But there is actually water on this property. And we were so excited to see the source of this water. Anytime we see water, we get excited here in Arizona. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment. As always, we appreciate you all.